five morning routine that can heal your kidney faster than anything else. This routine has helped me and many other people that I know and it is something you too can replicate if you want to prevent kidney disease and prevent kidney failure okay now this video is not just going to help those with kidney disease or kidney problem but also those who are looking to optimize their kidney health okay so let's jump right in tip number one manage your blood sugar or your blood glucose in today's world many people have this notion that only those with diabetes should have a normal blood sugar or should manage their blood sugar well that is absolutely wrong it is not true even if you do not have diabetes, you still have to keep your blood sugar in a stable range, in a normal range. And then how high blood sugar and kidney disease are related is that when you have high blood sugar, it's actually not just your pancreas alone that suffer from this problem. Because when your blood sugar level is very high, your pancreas produces insulin to help regulate this blood sugar, which over time your pancreas is going to get tired of making insulin. But when you have high blood sugar, your kidney are actually being forced to work extra harder to filter this glucose from your blood which you are going to pass out in your urine i mean this is one of the reasons why you see most people who are diabetic usually have kidney diseases and in fact more than 50 percent of people with diabetes have kidney diseases okay so if you have kidney disease and you want to recover from this problem managing your high blood sugar is one of the most important things you have to take into consideration do you still eat your favorite comforting carbohydrate? Do you still eat bread, white rice, pastas, potatoes, or sugar? All of these can contribute to high blood sugar, which can affect your kidney. So you have to cut back on your intake. All right. Now, the second tip which you have to take into consideration is to monitor your blood pressure in the morning when you wake up from sleep. Now, high blood pressure is actually one of the major things that can contribute to kidney damage. I mean, high blood pressure most of the time can come from when you have conditions like diabetes, which is why managing high blood sugar is essential. When you get your blood pressure number, there are two of them. The top one, which is your systolic blood pressure, and the bottom one is your diastolic blood pressure. Knowing these two can save your life. Systolic blood pressure measures the pressure your blood is pushing against your arteries wall during heartbeat. Why diastolic blood pressure is the pressure in your artery while your heart is resting between heartbeats. So here is how to understand your, your blood pressure. A heavy blood pressure is actually 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. A prehypertension starts between that point to 139 over 89 millimeters of mercury. Why having a good control over your blood pressure is important is that it's going to help you take proactive measure in preventing kidney diseases or in recovery from kidney diseases so if you have kidney problem and you want to recover from this problem you also have to take into consideration your blood pressure all right now the third thing i want to talk about is drink plenty of water drink plenty of fluid when you wake up in the morning many people make this mistake of not drinking water immediately they wake up from sleep now, when you drink water when you wake up from sleep, it's actually very healthy for the kidney. That's because it helps filter sodium and toxins from the kidney. It also prevents the deposition of kidney stones in your kidney. And then if you have kidney stone in the past, drinking water in the morning immediately you wake up from sleep is going to help prevent future deposit. Okay? So staying consistently hydrated throughout the day is very beneficial for the kidney. So when you wake up from sleep in the morning, the first thing you have to do is to take a glass of water and drink it and also stay constantly hydrated throughout the day. Now the fourth tip I want to give to you is to be eating cruciferous vegetables as your breakfast. We're talking about kale, broccoli, broccoli sprouts, wasabi, cabbage, cauliflower and the rest of them. Cruciferous vegetables are packed with a lot of essential nutrients, a lot of polyphenols, a lot of minerals, lot of vitamins that are very important for kidneys. The polyphenols in the, in the cruciferous vegetable can reduce inflammation, they can act as antioxidants, they can slow the progression of kidney diseases into a more serious one, into the end stage, okay? So cruciferous vegetable is very important food that you must be eating as part of your breakfast. There are a lot of interesting benefits, there are a lot of research regarding the benefits of eating cruciferous vegetable in maintaining optimal kidney functions all right now the last thing i want to talk about is keep moving 
you have to exercise i'm not talking about strenuous exercise i'm not talking about resistance training i'm talking about moderate exercise even something as simple as walking dancing or gardening can actually do a lot for your kidney it doesn't have to be any serious thing you don't have to be doing cycling you don't have to be you don't have to be running okay you just have to keep moving that is going to do a lot for your kidney so these are the five tips that is going to do a lot of wonders for your kidney and i hope you replicate it in order to prevent kidney diseases thanks for watching